Orbiting some 350 miles up, it's been called the People's Telescope because its images appear everywhere. You can't look in a textbook, you can't walk in a public building. Television ads, magazine ads, the pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope aren't literally everywhere. With a gentle release by one, but carrying the fingerprints of hundreds of thousands. And while this week marked the last time human hands will touch Hubble, astronauts successfully refurbished the telescope, so its impact will be felt by generations to come. It's sort of strange and amazing. There could be life somewhere else, too. It's not just us. But Hubble's life almost never happened. And liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery. Launched in 1990 with lofty expectations and a $1 billion price tag, an imperfection in Hubble's mirror meant its pictures were blurry. In many ways, the future of NASA hung in the balance, as astronauts needed to bring Hubble a high-tech pair of glasses in 1993. Like the cowboys and the white hats, you know, riding to the rescue to save Hubble, and in fact they did. To the delight of NASA engineers, it worked. By restoring the imaging of Hubble, we were able to see these things that were even more spectacular than anybody ever imagined. Allowing scientists to see almost back to the Big Bang, billions of years into the past, like the ultimate time machine, with this man as its earthly assistant. From the very beginning of Hubble's photography, Zolt LeVay has used a simple Photoshop-like program to clean up and enhance the cosmic colors. I hope that people see these images and see them as nature images, as, as nature photography. This latest and last mission to Hubble was tabled in the wake of the Columbia disaster, but eventually resurrected. Oh, this is fantastic. And for astronaut John Grunsfeld, a self-described Hubble hugger, it was the final moment to say goodbye. You know, I did feel a little bit of sadness as if, you know, we were leaving an old friend. In fact, the telescope is now in better shape than ever, able to see places in the universe that Galileo could only have dreamed of. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.